I'm out enjoying the fresh air this morning. And the midgets. And midges, as some people like to call them. Um, yesterday evening when I was getting my last load, I noticed that the bolt was after falling off this. And the chain slapped down. How lucky I noticed it because I'm so it was switched on. And I just got a new bolt and put it on this morning. That's why I'm at. That's why I'm on. Yeah. How that do me? Oh, some would say, you know, you're some man to notice that. That's why you're on the big money. And they'd be right. Some may also say, how did you not notice it loosening? And that, I cannot answer. The only thing that I think of is someone snuck up onto the machine when I wasn't watching and loosened it on me. Sabotage. Traffic today, it's very bad. That's nice. Nice, nice first thing in the morning, isn't it? Some greeting. Some wanker. Ah, uh, sure. Pig will always be a pig. Oh no, come out, you fucker. It's been lovely all morning. Jeez, the sun fascinates me. Like, look at it. 200 million kilometers away, burning, generating every little bit of heat and energy that we have. And then what really bakes my noodle is 75 years ago, engineers and scientists on this planet figured out how to light the same fire that burns in that fucker down here. Didn't end well for the people in Hiroshima. Didn't end well for them. But I bet them scientists were saying, if we don't kill ourselves with this technology, imagine where humanity will be in 75 years. Now maybe they didn't say 75 years, but I'm sure they thought. I'm sure it was a line of thought. Imagine going forward in time and walking through our colleges now, meeting some young lad and going, oh, why are you studying? Oh, gender studies. Fuck me. PlayStation update. Don't have one yet. No sign of it. Never even got an email. They're all cunts. Here we have the wild species non homo. Here in the distance we see the wild species non homo always erectus. This is his natural habitat along with the GAA field and the bedroom. Some may say he is the king of the hurling field, the bedroom and the forest. And we all know what the king does. Yes, that's right. Whatever the fuck he wants. Here in the distance we see the wild species non homo always erectus. This is his natural habitat along with the GAA field and the bedroom. Some may say he is the king of the hurling field, the bedroom and the forest. And we all know what the king does. Yes, that's right. Whatever the fuck he wants. Jesus, you frightened shit on me. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's a big load. It's a big load. But... If the ground's able for it, I'll fucking give it to her. That's a long way out. And we all know at this stage that I'd rather stick my ball sack in the blender than hit out with a half fucking toad. Just, so just do it. Oh, people all say, oh, you're the best, you're the best. How do you do it? I don't know. Do -do 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 -do. There's my pen. How cool is that? Made of timber, so you know it's good. David Cuddy making Big Bank. What a pen. Shiny, timbery, really, really dark grey writing. And I just say, oh, oh, I'm holding my pen, it feels real nice, but I need to draw a penis really quick. And you press that button. There's the button there, it's the mechanism for taking out the nib. And then you go, boom, 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 boom. Boom, look, there's a penis, looks more like a bone. I was failing on my behalf. Anyway, but then, oh, you need to do something with your computer and you don't have time to take the pen out of your hand. You're like, oh, look, look. Oh, no, 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 no. no. There you go. There you go. It's like status. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. And then, oh, you need to draw a penis really quick. Do a better job, David. Do a better job. Anyway, not a good job, but I need two hands. So I'm holding the phone in one, so that's a bit of a... Yeah, that was a fail. That was a fail. And look, it's not just um, sales speak from the CEO of an international e-commerce business. It's 
facts there has been studies shown that anyone that doesn't have one of those pens likes to suck off horses and finger dogs I uh, you do you want people to think you're that kind of guy I didn't think so get one of the pens it's fierce funny the lies we tell ourselves I said to myself this morning oh I'll go to bed early tonight lies happy Friday everyone good morning dreary old morning here the weirdest dream last night I was falling off a building. I was holding on with two hands. I'm screaming for help. Who comes to help? Elon Musk. I'm delighted. But he's getting it hard to lift me. And I'm, I'm not that worried because it's Elon Musk. He's a genius. He'll come up with some ingenious way of lifting me up. And his phone rings. And he goes, oh, I need my two hands to answer this. I said, don't fucking answer it then. And he answered it and let me fall to my death. I didn't die. I woke up. It was scary. I know it was a dream, but dick move, Elon. Dick fucking move. Oh, that brash through this morning. See, this part of the extraction line is causing me lots and lots of problems. So I'm sorting it out. I'm sorting it out because I am a problem solver. A problem solver attached to a beautiful penis. And now, I have only 50% chance of getting COVID. They didn't shove their fingers up my arse, which was... Disappointing to say the least. When I'm after being a good boy, Vicky always says I can go to Black's and pick out a tie for myself. Put the last one. Watch this, this is cool. DeLorean baby. Not deadly. And it gets better, watch. <laughs> Doors open, look. Hey, Clark. Do you love your DeLorean? Yeah. Where was it made? China. <laughs> Greg is cutting a grand block near Lord May out there and every time that I have to pass it off and drive all the way in here, my hedonistic needs to take the easy road kick in and I have to overpower him because the rain will come I live on an island in the middle of the Atlantic. So I have to make hay where the sun shines so I won't be battling the ground when the time comes. Oh, that's why I'm on the big yen. That's why I'm on the big fucking yen. Just. Up here for thinking, down there for dancing, a little bit for romance. Bring my finger in. See that horrible old lord? That's a double bay of two fives and then rotten pulp on top. Oh, stay. Uh, what time is it? It is half four. So another hour, an hour and a half hour and then I go home. I'm really pleased with myself today because uh, well, I didn't want to go today. I really struggled to go to work today. So I'm always happy when I get days like that done more so than the days you just fuck off to work skipping. This is separates the men from the boys. Doing what you don't want to do, but doing it like you enjoy it. Make yourself enjoy it. So yeah, happy, 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 happy. Hope you're having a good evening. Vicky's just after sitting down. Uh. While panting really heavy and complaining about the pain of her legs, uh. when I'm asking her to sit down all evening. And now she's only sitting down with her glass of wine. I'm two of these in, and as you can see, I'm quite large. And now all she's gonna do is, oh, let's go to bed, let's go to bed, I'm mad for sex. <laughs> she's back on. I know a lot of people don't like getting up early, but it's nice to make your flask and get everything ready to go to work and watch the sun come up. I won't say it's romantic. It's definitely relaxing. Right, better get to work. No point getting up early and fucking looking at this when you get to work. By the time work was finished yesterday evening, I was... I was jaded. And I rang Vicky on the way home and I said, Vic, I am going to bed early tonight. I need an early night. I got my few jobs done and got our dinner with the kids to bed. And rocked on to bed then at around 11 o'clock. Tristan too bad it was my own fault I was wearing those fucking tight underpants that I have and sure she she's only a woman she couldn't resist them 
Anyway, make a long story short, I ended up having to take Vicky's Pleasure Town and look, it was, it was great and all that. Probably wasn't fucking going to sleep last night until about 5 past 11. Disaster. Still no PlayStation, UPS fucked it up again. It went from Fingles to Waterford and then disappeared. So I'm gonna have to psych myself up and ring Sony today again and start the whole process over again. It is fair frustrating. It's fair frustrating. And I can't tag UPS in anything anymore because I think they blocked me. The bastards. Yeah, look, there's a few little tips I could uh, start you off with. You know, maybe one, just stop nagging him. That'd be nice. I appreciate him a little bit more. And uh, last but not least, gobbles. It's an easy one. 100% the best place to buy a PlayStation is off me. The second I get mine back, because I am fucking not dealing with this ever again. The problem is being solved every day, mostly by the likes of me and you and other people like us that go up every morning and instead of worrying about what gender we are and how our feelings are hurt or how we can be offended, we just do what we have to do. I have a boat missing out that bar, and if I don't get one I'm going to lose the bar in a sack of timber. Do you know what pisses me off about that world hunger thing? Now I don't want anyone to be starving. Like, uh, It'd be great if there wasn't one hungry person in the whole world. I fucking sickens my whole the way the media just give out about the patriarchy and our culture's fucked up and who's offended, blah, 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 blah. But like in the year 2000, the UN set a goal to have world hunger and poverty by 50%. And they reached it in 2012. And it's been going like that ever since. In fact, there is more fat people in the world now than starving people. There is more obese people the starving people. For the first time in human history. But no. It's all the patriarchy's fault. Bird balls. So it doesn't matter where you're working, uh, whether it's an office building or a site craig, you just walk over to the biggest, baddest dude, the alpha male, and you make sure and ask a few people who he is. You say, where is this lad? When they point him out, you walk over slowly, make an eye contact. Once you get over to him, without breaking eye contact, this is important, tuck down your chin and protect your neck. Grab him by the back of the neck and the hasp of the horn, put his head through a fucking wall. While he's unconscious, you walk over to him slowly. Everyone's looking, everyone's staring. You make eye contact, glance at everyone. Give him about a second or two each. Slowly, pull down your trousers, pull down your underpants, make a meal of it, make a meal of it, and take a huge shite on his chest. And while everyone's staring, I gasped, you say, I don't want no trouble here. I'm not afraid of it when it comes. You'll never have another butter. Never have another butter. This is your little legs can carry you. You leave that relationship and you don't look back. Unless, of course, you're married with kids and then maybe get counsel and try and work it out. You never know, you could be the instigator of all the jealousy. You know, don't be giving out about being jealous if you're sticking your mickey everywhere. You probably underestimated him in the friend zone while you overestimated yourself. And if it was the best time of his life, where is he? You see, there's an epidemic of women putting an extremely high value on penny pussy. It doesn't end well over time. You've got can down the road all you want, but you're always gonna have to pay the piper. And I hope you have something cooking away in the background, like a rich mammy and daddy or a trust fund. Because there's nothing more damage into your future than being non-conscientious when you're young. And I mean no disrespect by this. And now, and I did say I mean no disrespect, but you're stupid assholes. I see it all the time, all the time. Young people going to college, doing courses that there's no jobs at the end of it. Maybe change two or three times, you know, kicking back the time that they're leaving college by two or three years. Then they leave and they do, oh, I don't like this job. Oh, I'll do a different job. I'll try something else. Oh, I don't like working big hours. Life is about living, not working. You work to live, not live to work. Then they're lucky enough to meet someone and they want to get a mortgage, maybe start a family. And then the panic starts. Oh, the whole world's against me. I have to move in with my mammy and daddy because I can't afford the deposit to save money. And even if you don't want to have kids, you're going to be old someday. You don't want to be working your balls off and you're old, do you? People are so fucking stupid. Stupid assholes. And I mean no disrespect by that. There's no disrespect. Jeez, no, I don't fancy getting a snip at all. Sure, I'd love to have 10 more kids, only I've no idea who's gonna mind them. And I definitely don't know who's gonna pay for them. But you never know, I might win the lotto in the morning, then I just, just pump them into her. Well, look, family is all that matters. And if you're able to come home and make as much money, by all means. But if you're missing opportunities and you're gonna put yourself back, set yourself back financially, then stay where you are. 
home now for my cycle and showered and now I'm gonna get something to eat. Um, if we had wider tracks, we wouldn't be able to sit down Tinnin's lanes. Think, think eager. Fillet steak, medium rare, black pepper sauce, garlic potatoes, chips, and all the trimmings. <sighs> oh, getting hungry thinking about it. I'd actually be really, really happy because he's my son and he loves me and he would allow me to ride that gravy train with him and we would take the government for everything that they have.